all right what is up everyone welcome back to the channel my name is chris and today i am back with another video here so today the flyers have officially announced their 2022-23 uh season opening roster uh and this was official with the league at 5 p.m yesterday on monday and uh it didn't come out until today officially because the flyers had to do a couple things so as per cap friendly i'm going to read off the roster and then i'll go through the the uh, the official roster through the Flyers, and they kind of explain it as well. But the roster on here per cap friendly is, is Hayes, Van Riemsdyk, Atkinson, Konechny, Farabee, Lawton, Delorier, Tippett, Cates, uh, Noah Cates, that is, uh, Frost, and Hogson. There, there's 11 forwards. The seven defensemen are Provorov, Ristolainen, and D'Angelo, Sanheim, Braun, uh, Adderd, and Sealer, and then the goaltenders are Hart and, and uh, Urson. So, Couturier and Ellis are on injured reserve. That takes up $14 million there. Uh, Long-term injured reserve is Patrick Brown. Um, season opening injured reserve is Bobby Brink and Felix Sandstrom. Uh, and and Isimov is still on a PTO. So what the cap friendly doesn't have on here is Wade Allison, uh, Tanner Legzinski, and uh, Igor Zamula. So those guys are on the official roster for the Flyers. So going through that whole roster again, it's all the same players from Cat Friendly, but Allison, Legzinski, and Zamul are on here. And because of that, it, it was because the Flyers had to put, the injured reserve had to go through before they could call Allison, Legzinski, and Zamula back up. So they had to get sent down for the cap compliance, and then they would have had to call them back up. Jackson Cates got sent down to Lehigh Valley yesterday. Um, and as for the other guys, Sandstrom obviously isn't ready, so he's starting on uh, opening injured reserve. Brink hopefully is ready by like December, January ish. That's I guess that's the hope. Probably more looking towards January. Brown obviously having the back issue, and Couturier and Ellis Coots hopefully soon. He skated the other day, and Ellis probably won't be seeing him this year. But Anisimov is still on a PTO, uh, and he could actually. I was talking to Bill Meltzer the other day, and he was basically explaining that Anisimov could stay on a PTO for most of the season up until the trade deadline, and then the Flyers could sign him. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not sure if they'll do that. As for the goaltenders, obviously Carter Hart. Looks like he's going to be ready to go. Uh, Rusty, I would assume, because he hasn't played. So we'll see how that kind of that bodes uh, for the Flyers on Thursday, on a Thursday night. Urson, uh, I thought, played great. As for the defense, Ronnie Adderd, um, he ends up making the team. He's on the roster uh, for the Flyers here. Not a... I didn't really like Adderd's. I thought he had a good camp, but I didn't really like him in the games. I thought he had some really iffy moments. He was so-so. Um, obviously, he had the fight and all that stuff, too. So, you know, he, he uh, again, he can definitely learn. And, and again, I, I'm, I have a feeling the Flyers are probably going to go 12-6 and six for the first two games since they're at home, and then they might go 11-7 and seven and carry an extra defenseman when they go to Florida and play the, both the Florida teams, Tampa and Florida, because um, they are on the road for a little bit in this month, and again, it's a, it's a hard month for them, so they're going to need as many bodies as possible, and not everybody's healthy. Like, this is going to be Atkinson's first game. It's going to be Hart's first game, uh, so there are a handful of guys that only played a couple games, too. Konechny, uh and guys like that, too, So I, and obviously Farabee is going to be starting, so... But again, I, it, it's not really many, uh, you know, crazy, um, I guess you could say, options of what really the Flyers did. It's nothing to, uh, it's nothing really that we didn't know. Uh, as for Hogson, he ends up making it. Um, I don't really like the idea of having Sealer and Braun on the third pair, but to start the year, I guess that's okay. I would rather have Zamula, but I understand what they're doing with that. Um Again, I thought Samuel Urson had a really good camp. That was somebody that I really enjoyed uh, watching, even from the rookie game. Uh, also, I thought Wade Allison was good. Tanner Legzinski was one who really stood out to me. I thought he was good on the penalty kill. Obviously scored against the Islanders in the last game. I thought just in general he had a, a good camp, and I was glad to see that he made it. But again, not really too many uh, changes for the Flyers, and not really too many crazy uh, options that they had to go through here. Obviously just took a little bit longer because of the cap and everything. But as of right now, per cap friendly, uh, the Flyers have $0 in cap space, and their projected cap hit is, cap hit is $83,191,816. So um, we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, I, I, the... The contracts on here are also still 49 to 50, but they're not actually 49 to 50 because J.R. Avon going to the OHL that takes him off and Fedotov, the Flyers can toll that contract and it can get taken off and then put back 
for the 2023-24 uh, season. So that should be 47 of 50 contracts if the Flyers were to do any sort of moves or anything like that. Um, so a little bit more wiggle room than usual. Um, but again, let me know your thoughts below. We'll, we'll see what happens uh, for um, Thursday. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty much the same lines that we have seen in practice and the same deep pairs for Thursday night's game. Uh, but uh, let me know. Yeah, uh, again, thank you guys so much for all the support. You can check out the fan club. Do a bunch of stuff there. We have these uh, raffle tickets uh, for a Joel Farabee signed military jersey. Um, you can, if you want to purchase one, you can DM me on Twitter. They're five dollars each or three for ten. Uh, and uh, yeah, the proceeds do go to charity. Um, so yeah, again, it's a signed Joel Farabee military jersey. And then the live show call two six seven nine three nine one two one six. This week I'll be going live with uh, Jim Ikevin from High and Wide. So really excited for that one. Jim's one of my good friends. So uh, yeah. Stay tuned, everybody, and I'll talk to you all again soon.